Many conspiracy channels are popping up. Some are even touting Q, claiming that billionaires are psychopathic pedophiles, COVID is a pandemic to put out 5G for mind control and population reduction, and basically offloading all problems with the world to outside themselves to create some sort of pseudo-awakening, which has already become violent and seems to be forgetting the cardinal rule of consciousness. The outer world is a reflection of our inner world. Now, I'm not telling everyone to meditate. Although it is a proven way to create more harmony in your mind, family, and world, what I am saying is why are people becoming famous right now through demagoguery, preying on people's fear instincts that they need to prevent a totalitarian new world order AI agenda? What's the actual probability that all these conspiracies have any connection to each other and this agenda? We all understand the importance of the world's most prominent assassinations, events, and the possibility space of the future. So why not focus all your energy on transforming yourself and holding only the highest civilizational flourishing in mind? You are not 100% good, and Bill Gates is not 100% bad. Anyone who thinks that has fallen into the binary trap. We are all mixes of both. Our life's work lies in realizing this, doing self-work to integrate the shadow, and building the more beautiful world our hearts know is possible. So of course, research the most salient events of the past, but then set your goal on the brightest future. Use a laser-like focus to transform yourself and make art, entrepreneurship, science to get us there. So whether Abe Lincoln was actually half black, the Federal Reserve and government debt are surreptitious slavery, or JFK slash 9-11 were inside jobs, is old news compared to what ethics and morals we use to build the next largest internet platforms, cryptocurrencies, and AIs. We don't actually live on a finite planet. Don't let that myth of scarcity consume you. Einstein's mass energy equivalence shows that technology like Star Trek's replicator are possible, and we can have unlimited free energy forever by replicating the cosmic process of the sun on Earth through controlled fusion of hydrogen. This needs to be a top priority, to heal, respect, and cherish our interdependence with the earth, not to virtue signal and greenwash, selling fear and scarcity, but rather build the abundant future where all people are flourishing and have a stake in our collective success. There is a consistent pattern in history where people promulgate fear and uncertainty about the future and entrenched interests fight to retain the status quo. But we should now be wise enough to not fail the marshmallow experiment, letting our short-term gratification for technology like 5G seduce us without conducting many more longitudinal studies on the health effects and exploring additional creative options of how to deliver more effective technology. Same for understanding the central dogma of biology. The more we understand the code of life, 
the more we become the interstellar gods we are destined to be. We are explorers and creatives. We just need to ground the original living wisdom of Earth into our psyche as we evolve to our highest potential. It has been said for thousands of years, love everyone and tell the truth. Stop obsessing over the conspiracy being in the other. Recognize how everything in our reality serves an evolutionary purpose and become the change you wish to see in the world.